This is Laurie Sherrod, and I'd like to show you one of the features of Google Sites. If you go into a Google Site and edit your page, one of the toolbar options is HTML. And there's a little pencil beside that. If we click on that, it gives us a box in which we can type in our own HTML if we're a coder, or if you've already put some information on your page and you'd like to fine tune it, you can go in here sometimes and make changes. But my favorite use for this is to copy and paste HTML snippets from web pages that will produce gadgets or special features that I want copied onto my individual Google page. So I'm going to cancel this right now. And I am going over into Flickr. Flickr is one of the many pages where it does have an option to share, and under the share option, it offers to give you the HTML snippet for your slideshow of photos. Um, there's a similar option on a lot of other web pages. Two others that I use quite frequently are AuthorStream and YouTube. Plus, there's tons of Google gadgets if you um, if you search for Google Gadgets. But here I've got my little slideshow. And if I'm playing my slideshow and I come up here into the upper right hand corner, I can click Share and it says Grab the Embed HTML. Now I always go ahead and point to it and pick Select All and then copy it to the clipboard. Now if there is no copy to the clipboard option on the page you're on, you can also point to it, right click, and select copy. Now I'm going to go back into my Google site and click on my HTML button. And I'm going to right click and paste the HTML snippet. Now you'll notice it is much longer than we could see. And that's why I did the select all so I could make sure that I had all of the code. Now, if you know what you're doing, you can at this point go in and edit this code. For example, I see a width and a height that might be editable. So in some cases, you can actually do a few things with that. But I usually just leave it the way it was and click Update. Now you'll see your snippet appear. And if you click Save, the Flickr photo stream appears. And if any user visits this page, they can actually see my photos from my Flickr. So the HTML button, a very powerful and useful tool when you're working with a Google site.